Hi guys, it's me here. Um, don't excuse away. Look, I have not washed my hair after I had my Valentine's Day hair and all that. I wanted to show you my flowers from Valentine's Day. It's on my desk. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, they're kind of like already wilting because I didn't have a vase for them and I had them sitting in my car at like 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm trying to revive them and save the red ones, but I don't know if they're going to save, but this is a must uh, know makeup information video, and the information comes from this book that I've talked about before. I'm actually going to reread it because I read it about six months ago. Um, I probably won't get to it for about six weeks or so, but because um, I have just tons of books to read, but this is stuff that I thought would be helpful for you guys to know. So I'm just going to start because I only have, you know, nine minutes now. Um, the first thing is about organic makeup, and, the, and, it's, and it says, does organic really mean organic? <clears throat> now, this is important for you guys to know, is that there are no laws um, restricting the use of organic in someone in, in a company, so they can say that the uh, stuff is organic, but can still have chemicals and preservatives and other stuff in it. So, um, what... It says that in order to know if it's prop, if it's a proper organic item, you need to check if the company is accredited by an organic organization. So I just thought that was very interesting because I know a lot of you like organic and mineral makeup, and I never really thought of that. I never knew there was no laws about kind of you know almost lying. So um, the next thing is, what ingredients in your makeup should you avoid? Okay, and this is what they say. There are certain ingredients that have been directly linked to cancer or hormonal disruption, including dyes, green 3, blue 1, also uh, xalene, BHT, uh, crystalline silica, coal tar dyes, talc, DEA, and TEA, as well as, as, well as formaldehyde. So you really need to look at the ingredients on your box. If you're not sure if it's a new company, uh, go on a website or try to find an ingredient list before you use the item. It's very important. Okay. Next thing that I thought was interesting. Will wearing makeup every day do me any harm? And it says, wearing lipstick can cause you to absorb up to two pounds of potentially dangerous chemicals each year. Companies such as the Green People in the UK have formulated organic lipsticks. So, you know, if you're going to wear them every, every year, make sure you're using items, like I just said, that don't have the ingredients that I listed, as well as, you know, it might be a good idea to maybe find organic lipsticks, or maybe just uh, use an organic lipstick every other day, um, if you do use your lipstick every single day. Next. Should I apply my day makeup and night makeup differently? Now, I know that someone a long time ago asked me to do a video on this, and... I haven't and this is kind of my way for redeeming myself um, so pretty much what they say is that when you're applying makeup during the day you're going to use natural light from a window at nighttime your makeup will be applied more likely and it, it'll end up looking more appropriate if you do it in the bathroom you know with those lights the it's not natural lights okay um, and it says like bronzer and your eyes and your lips can be a little bit darker at nighttime just because of you may be in an ambiance like a candlelit place or it's a dim bar or whatever so keep in mind your atmosphere where you're going if you're going to someone you know a house party or something where it's not going to be dark you know keep that in mind before you apply your makeup next um how do I know which color blush will suit me best this is a question someone has asked me for and once again I realized um, when I was just reading through a list that I found from months ago that someone asked me this. So this is what you do. You try to match the color of your cheeks that occurs after you pinch your cheeks. There's this red color. You're looking for that same natural, literally, blush that you get, you know, when you blush or, you know, when you pinch your cheek. So that is how to find the proper blush color. I'm not saying that you can experiment with other colors, but if you want a natural blush, um, that's what you would use. Um, how do I stop my mascara from clumping? I've talked about this so many times. I'm sure you guys all know this. You never pump the wand. 
in your um, container because the air gets inside and it will dry the liquid of your eye, of your mascara or even liquid aligner and it will you know leave you you know the mascara will end up clogging on your and it just won't look attractive so when you pull out that wand just pull it very slowly out don't be pumping it you know if you need to get more just put it all the way in and pull it all the way out next <clears throat> how can uh, is there a way to make my mascara last longer since we're talking about mascara um, this is what I do when I know I'm going out and I need my mascara to last a very long time and if, uh, sometimes you know if I'm using my LA colors I know it's more of a low-end product I love what it does to me but um, I want it to last maybe as long as a, as a high-end product would and I put uh, translucent powder on my lashes and I um, pretty much after I do that I apply the uh, the mascara allow it to dry for several minutes before I apply another layer and it really does that whatever the consistency of that powder is it really grabs and almost just you know keeps that on your lashes longer um, and lastly I have several things about keeping uh, when it comes to lipstick is liner or no liner best now I'm not a lip liner girl just because I haven't mastered it and I'm not sure if it would look natural on me because my lips are already very pink red um, but this is uh, what you use that for initially is is to define your lips and to actually keep your your lipstick or your lip color on longer so um, in order to do that and to make it look natural you need to pick a shade that's the closest to your natural lip color with nothing on um, so next how can I make the nude lip look work on me now I mean ultimately if you want to do the new lip I would advise that you do more of a darker eye if it's too pale and you already have very light skin, you're going to end up look washed out. You're going to end up looking um, just like a ghost. So in order to do that, you know, if you have more of a pale skin, pick like the peaches and the pinks and stuff. If you have like a brown undertone to your skin, you know, maybe you're know, African American or you're Hispanic or, you know, maybe Italian or, or something that you have darker skin, Greek you know, you have an olive skin tone, then more browns, like light browns, would look a little bit better on you. That's just suggestions. I mean, by all means, experiment if you want to try different things. I'm just giving you guys ideas and giving you some information. Okay, so um, last but not least. Okay, how do you apply your lipstick? Meaning, how many coats? What do you do? What I do first is I apply a lip balm to my lips. Okay. Then I will apply my lip color. This is if I'm not using a lip liner. Okay. And then I will blot it on a tissue. I will apply loose powder over my over that first coat and then apply a second coat. And I'm telling you, the loose powder, just like I said for the mascara, works same way by keeping in you know the lipstick on for a long time because that's what I have found in as long as I've worn makeup, the problem it's one of the biggest pet peeves for me is lipstick and not staying on and even if it's high quality lipstick so I'm telling you lip balm first coat blot off the excess translucent powder second coat and then you might want to put a gloss on top of that so that is my system for uh, lipstick that is my must know makeup information for you um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you have more questions um, let me know and as I said before this is the ask beauty book you can get this at half.com they also sell it in Marshalls I just saw it for $5.99 again in Marshalls so um, hope you enjoyed it talk to you soon bye